right. Seventh grade, lesson 75. This is on area of a complex figure and then also area of a tra trapezoid. Okay, so this is what a complex figure is going to look like. Okay, well it's kind of funky. And then it has these numbers. Okay. Now, what you're going to do is we're going to try to find the area of this figure. And remember area is what's on the inside. You're trying to figure it's kind of like if it was laid flat. Um, so, area has two dimensions, length times width, or length times height, however you want to say it. Um, now, here's what I want you to see, is that when you see a complex figure like this, you're going to try to break it up into two pieces. Okay? Now, when you do that, you're going to try to find the area of the rectangle and then the area of the triangle. Do you see that? So, I'm going to put um, area of a rectangle, AR, that's just my symbols of what I use. And what is the area of a rectangle? Length times width, right? Mm -hmm. Then, I'm going to find the area of a triangle. And what's the area of a triangle? Base times height divided by 2. That's very important for me to write these things down so that while I'm working them I don't forget which ones I'm supposed to be doing. Okay? So, again, we're going to look at the rectangle first. Do I see a length? Now, here's where it's going to get tricky because from here to here is 16. But I don't need that whole 16. I'm wanting one of these sides and one of these sides. Length times width or width times height, however you want to say it. So, do I know what this um, portion of the side is? Yes. Seven, right? So, if this is seven and this full thing is 16, then this would have to be nine, right? Mm -hmm. From here to here. Okay, so I can erase the 16 because... The 16 was for all of it, but once we broke it up into pieces, this and this, we needed to break up the 16. You get that? Mm -hmm. Alright, now, when we're doing um, rectangle, it's length times width. 10 times 7. So, 10 times 7 is 70. Very good. So, I'm going to put 70, and this is in millimeters, so 70 millimeters squared. And squared because whenever you're working with area, it's always squared. Okay, now, help me look at this um, triangle, okay? Do I know, I know the um, base is 9, but do I know the height? Uh, Not yet. No. Okay, so, whenever you're trying to find what this is, you always look at the parallel side, okay? And so, what I want you to see is, okay, so, as I was saying, we're looking at our triangle. Okay? And we know our base is 9, but we don't know our height. And when we're trying to find the height, you always look at parallel lines. So we see that this is 4, and all of this is 10. So if this portion is 4, then this portion is 4. So then if all of this is 10, then 4 and 6 equal 10. So we know that this is 6. Right? Okay. So now we're doing the triangle, so we want to do base times height. And don't forget to divide by 2. So many people forget that. That's why it's important that I write this formula out. So, base times height, 9 times 6 is 54. And 54 divided by 2, what's that answer? 27. 27. Okay, so if this is 70 millimeters squared and this is 27 millimeters squared, then we add those two together and we're going to end up getting 97 millimeters squared. Okay? And that would be the final answer on that complex figure. And that's how you say it. Okay? Now, let's try a few more because on this next one, you have several choices that you can make and how you're going to do it. For example, look at this one. And I'm thinking, you I know what your brain's going to do. <laughs> so, here we go. Okay. Tell me what you would do on this one, Eli. What do you think you're going to do? Add a corner. Okay, that's exactly what I thought you would do. Okay, that's exactly. Okay, so there are three different ways, actually, that you can do this figure. Okay, and we're going to take, I'm going to do it the way he said first. 
Um, he's going to add this corner. Now, if you add a corner, you've got to add dotted lines because it's not really there. Okay? So, can we figure out the um, side measurements of this dotted line? Yes, we can because we know from here to here is 10. So, from here to here, I didn't quite do the... <laughs> Um, even it out very good. But anyway, um, if this is 3, then what is this? Then it's 7, because 7 and 3 make a total of 10. Okay? And down here we have a whole thing of 10. And so if this from here is 6, then from here to here is 4, because 6 and 4 make 10. Right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so now I'm going to go over here for just a second. And this is what this would look like. Um, we would have a 10 here and a 10 here. And so if I was going to find this whole shape, I would do length times width because it's a rectangle or a square. You do length times width. So 10 times 10 is 100, and this is in centimeters? Uh, centimeters. Centimeters squared because we're doing area. Okay, so this whole thing is 100. Now, if we want to figure out this portion and then just cut it out, take it out of this piece, that's what I that's what he always do. So that's what we're gonna do. So let's go in and find. We already found the area of this whole rectangle or this whole square. Now we're gonna find this piece. And what, what kind of shape is that piece? What do you mean? Oh it's triangle. a triangle, right? Okay, so we're gonna find the area of a triangle, and the area of a triangle is base times height divided by two. Don't forget to write your formula out so you don't forget what you're doing. So base times height, seven times four. 28. 28, good. Divided by 2, it's going to give us 14. So this portion right here is 14. So guess what? I'm just going to take this piece out because it wasn't there in the first place. So I'm going to take 100 centimeters times minus 14, and I'm going to end up getting 86. So to get the answer for this, this is going to be 86 centimeters squared for the answer. Okay, now there is another way that you can do this problem. Um, I think I probably would have done it the way Eli did, but it doesn't matter um, how you choose to do it. Some people want to um, do something different, so let's try something different. Um, a lot of people would divide it like this. Okay, they're going to have to find a rectangle, a rectangle, and a triangle for this method. Okay, it may seem a little bit harder, <laughs> may not make more as much sense to you, but it's still something that they do. Now, if we did it like this, can we figure out every single one of the shapes? Well, let's see. Um, if I'm doing this big rectangle right here, I know that this is 10 and that this is 6. Now, remember, don't Plus take 4. Right? Where? Oh, oh this piece right here? Yeah. You're exactly right. So, since this is 6, this would be 6. And this would be 4. Good job. Okay? And so this would be 4 down here. Or 4, 4. Okay? And now, since we know this is 3, then this would be 3, this little dotted line from here to here. And then so if all of this is 10, then what's this portion? 7, right? Because 7 and 3 make 10. Okay. Now we have all our pieces that we need. Okay? But let's focus on the biggest piece. So I've got the area of the rectangle, 1. And this is my second one, my area of my rectangle, two, and the area of my triangle. And I don't have to put one or two because there's just one. Now, remember, I'm going to plot length times width, length times width, base times height divided by two. Okay, those are good to write down. Now, let's find rectangle one, this big one. 60, right? Six times ten, which will be sixty. Good. Centimeters squared. All right, now we're going to do the second rectangle. This one right here, 4 times 3, 12 centimeters squared. And then this um, triangle, 7 times 4 is 28 divided by 2. Good job remembering that. And that's going to be 14 centimeters squared. Okay? So then you would just add the 60 plus 12 plus 14. And you would still get 86 centimeters squared, just like we did on the last one. But you just did it, it went around about it. Now, you could have even divided it up even another way. I'm going to see which one they, um, they said. Another way would have been to go right here. I dotted across right here. And you can still do it like that. You don't have to come up with everything like we did 
So there's several different ways you can do it. You're all going to, it's always going to come up with the same answer, 86 centimeters squared. All right, that is finding the area of a uh, complex figure. But now we're going to move into the area of a trapezoid. Um, and here's what a trapezoid looks like. Okay? <laughs> trapezoid has two parallel lines and two that are not. That's what a trapezoid is, just so you know. Okay, and when you're working with um, two parallel lines, or when you're working with a trapezoid, you're going to divide the trapezoid into two triangle regions. Okay? <laughs> now, every time you see a trapezoid and they're wanting you to find the area, they will always have a dotted line that's straight up and down. And it's going to have these little square corners. That just means that it's a straight line and a straight line because it makes a perfect 90. That's what these little square corners mean. Okay, and they tell us that the height of this dotted line going up and down is 6. They tell me that this from here to here is 10, and from here to here is 7. Okay, now, now that we've got that all set up, okay, um, here's what I want you to do. They do not tell us the dotted line right here, how tall or how long it is. It's not important, because with triangles, you want to know from how tall it is. So from the bottom to the top. So this would be like from here to here, which is this. That tells me how tall this triangle is from here to here. Okay? So you never want to use a slanted line. You always want to use the um, one that's going straight up to tell the height. And they tell us that it's six. So we have the area of triangle one and the area of triangle two. And both of those are based on height divided by two, based on height divided by two. Okay, let's look. Let's call this one triangle one and triangle two. Triangle one, if you were to look at this, sometimes um, bases can be on the top. If you were to take this triangle right here, you see this? Um, this would be the base, and we could flip it so that it would be on the bottom. It's not a big deal. So 10 is actually our base, and our height is what? Six, always. You always want to know how tall this triangle is. And from this top uttermost corner to the bottom of this triangle is 6. Do you see that? Mm -hmm. This triangle from here to here, this triangle 1, is 6 inches or whatever it is. Inches. Centimeters. Okay? So 10 times 6 divided by 2 is going to give us 30. 60 divided by 2, 30. So triangle 1 is 30 centimeters squared. All right, let's try triangle 2. We have 7 times 6 because we have the bottom and here's the top. So this is 6. See that? That's 6. Okay? So we're going to go 7 times 6, which is 42, divided by 2 is 21. So when we added 30 plus 21, it's going to give us 51, and this is in centimeters, so centimeters squared since we're finding area. Got it? Feel like you understand it? Mm -hmm. That's lesson 75.